Hello kids, welcome back. We're on Unit 7 in our book. Unit 7 is talking about energy. And we are on Lesson 14. It's our last lesson of the book. But we can learn about electricity for our last lesson. That is the subject of Lesson 14. Electricity, wow, that's a long word, isn't it? If we listen to the word, we can hear five sounds. E-le-tri-si-ty. When you see a long word in English, break it down to the different sounds. Slowly look at each different sound and then put it together quickly and then you can pronounce the word. Let's look at electricity. E -le Tri, si, t. So we have five sounds. E, le, tri, si, t. Let's put those together quickly. Electricity. Let's practice together. Can you do it? Electricity. Electricity. Okay, very good. Okay. So that is this focus of our lesson. That is our topic. What will we focus on? We'll focus on two things. One, where does electricity come from? Where do we get electricity? Where does it come from? Second topic, and where does it go? Where does electricity go? We will take a look at these two topics in our lesson today. Are you ready? Let's begin. As we can see, electricity is all around us. We can see many things that use electricity. All of these things use electricity. Now, maybe these are all things your mother uses, right? Your mother uses these things to clean the house and make it nice for you. You probably use cell phones, smartphones, computers, uh, music players, right? So you use electricity for many fun things that you get music or play games or talk to your friends. All of these devices use electricity and we need electricity for these devices. So let's begin with our first word. Electricity is a type of energy, isn't it? Electricity is a type of energy. But what is the word from the unit, from our lesson, that is the same as energy? What is that word? We can see that that word is power. Power. Now be careful when pronouncing P. P. When you pronounce P, your lips are together and you have power sound behind it. P. P. Power. Okay, so it's a powerful word, isn't it? Power. So power is the same as energy. Power and energy are the same thing. Okay, so that's our first word. Let's move on to the second word. Okay, let's look at our second word. Our second word is about this uh, device here. We can see it's a device that turns sunlight into electricity. So let's look at this here, a device. A device is a machine or a tool that you use to do something. In this case, it's a device, a machine that turns, 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 changes, okay? So when you say it turns A into B, it changes A into B. In this case, it's turning sunlight into electricity. So this device turns sunlight into electricity. Isn't that great? Imagine we have sunlight coming down, right, and it's being turned into electricity. So what are these things? What are they? Well, if we look at our word list, we can see that they are solar panel. Solar panels, many, but one is solar panel. This is a little difficult of a word, right? Think about it this way. Solar means from the sun. Solar is associated with the sun, solar. 
panel. A panel is a flat、uh, device here, like this. This is one panel. There are many panels. So solar panel. And remember the P pronunciation. Panel, panel. Lips together. So we have solar panel. You guys practice solar panel. Okay, good. Solar panel. Okay, let's move on. This is one device, of course, to make electricity. Let's move on to our third word. Our third word, our clue, is a building. Well, this is a strange-looking building, right? But it's a building where electricity is made. A building where electricity is made. What kind of building can that be? Remember our word that we learned in the first time? It was power, right? So we put these two words together: power, and we have plant. Plant. Now you may know plant. Are we talking about a bush or a flower? No. Another meaning of plant is like a factory where something is made, especially energy, energy plant or power plant. So here, this building, which looks very strange,、uh, it's a very interesting-looking building, is a power plant. We make electricity at this building. Okay, so this is a building where electricity is made. This is a little difficult of a word. Let's practice power plant. Remember, we have two P's here. P, power plant, power plant. You guys try it. Power plant. Okay, good. Let's move on then to our fourth word. Here, our clue is a giant fan. A giant fan. These are huge, aren't they? They're really, really big fans.、Uh, not in your house, right? You don't have these in your house to make you cool. These are outside. It's interesting. Let's look at this. Be careful. This is giant fan. F. We have the F sound. Be careful between F and, whoops, F versus P. Before we learned P. P, P is the sound for that. But be careful with F. With F, we put our teeth on our bottom lip like this. F, F. So we have fan, fan. Let the air flow through your teeth. Fan. Okay. So P, there's no air going through. Your lips are closed tight. P, and then you release it powerfully. Okay, so a giant fan. What is a giant fan? This is also where we use.、Uh, we can get electricity. Where does it come from? We can make electricity with a turbine. A turbine. These are turbines. Also, be careful here. If we just said if there's no e e opsimyun, then it's turbine, right? But e isimyun. Turbine. It makes the I a longer sound. Turbine. Let's practice. Turbine. Turbine. Okay. So these are turbines. They generate. They make electricity. They turn wind energy into electricity. Okay. Let's move on. <clears throat> Now. We've talked about where electricity comes from. How can we get electricity? That we've we found out how we can make electricity. But how can we use electricity? Where can we get the electricity from? We can get electricity from this. You can see this in your house, right? How many do you have in your house? Wait, you can count them later. Let's study, okay? You can count how many you have in your house later. But what is this? What is this? We can describe it as a spot, a spot, a place, right? A spot where you can get electricity. So you want electricity for your computer, for your smartphone. Where can you get it if your battery is dead? You can get it from here. This is an outlet. Look, this is like two words, out. Out, going out, and let out, let. Think of it this way: it lets the electricity out of 
this place. So you can get it and you can use it. It's an outlet. So this is where you can get your electricity. Okay? So that's very useful. Let's move on. Now, behind the outlet, right, we have these things. Okay, we're talking about the metal part here, right? This is a long, thin piece of metal. Metal. That's this part here. Not this part. This part is plastic. But inside the plastic is metal. What is this called? This is called <coughs> a wire. Wire. Again, remember, E opsamyun, weir. Okay? But E is wire. Stretch the I sound, makes it long. Wire. So practice. Wire. Okay? Wire. Why are we concerned about wire? Electricity moves through the wire, goes to your outlet, and that's important. So there are wires inside your house, okay? Okay, Some, the wires are inside your house, but you also have wires on the outside of your computer. This is a special word for these kinds of wires. This is a short wire for moving electricity. Electricity travels through a wire, but on your computer or on your battery pack for your cell phone, you have small wires. We have a special word for that. What is that word? That word is cord. Cord. A cord is a small wire with two uh, ends. You put one end in the outlet, the other end goes into your device, into your computer or smartphone. That short wire we call a cord. A cord. Okay, let's move on. Uh, number eight, at the end of the cord, this is the cord here, this is the cord part here. What is this part? What is that? This is the part of a cord that goes into an outlet, right? You have to connect your cord to your outlet to get the electricity out. What do we call this part? We call this part a plug. Plug. Let's practice that. We have a blend. P and L. P -l. Plug. Plug. You guys. Plug. Very good. Okay. Plug. So we use this plug, we put it into the outlet, and then we can get our electricity. Okay, great. Let's move on here. What's this boy doing? Right? He's very happy. He is using a device we use for many things. Maybe right now you're watching me on this device. What is this device? Of course you know this. This is very easy, right? It is a computer. Computer. Computer, right? Computer. Of course you know that. That's an easy one. So this boy is using a computer. We don't see the cord, but of course it's probably a cord uh, that the electricity is coming into. And these are, this is one example of many devices we use with electricity. We need electricity to use these devices. So this is a computer. Now, let's take a look at uh, word number 10, okay? Sometimes we want to make electricity go from one place to another. So what verb can we use to describe that motion? F going from one place to another. To move something, to move something to somewhere else. I'm in Korea. I want to send a present to my friend in America. I will do what with that present? I will go to the post office and I will send the present to my friend. When we talk about electricity, we need to send electricity from the power plant to the outlet in your house. Okay? So this is a verb. Be careful. Some verbs in English are uh, not regular. They change form when you use them in different situations. For example, send. That's now. Chigum. I, I, I am sending. I will send. Also future. Sent is past, quago, right? Sent and sent. So I sent my present, 
I sent a present to my friend in America. That's quago, okay? Past tense, okay? Send, sent, sent. Practice that. You guys, send, sent, sent. Okay, very good. Okay, let's move on then. Wow, look at these birds. Where are they going, all right? Um, they are going, of course, it must be uh, getting cold and they're going south, right? Well, what are they doing? They are moving from one place to another. So if you move from one place to another, what are you doing? It's a verb. Travel. Travel. So I want to go to America. I will travel to America. Travel to somewhere. Move from one place to another place. I will travel to America. I will travel to another country. So these birds are traveling south. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Our last word here is kind of a, a scary word, right? That's be careful of this, right? Be careful of this sign. If you see that sign on a bottle, stay away from that bottle, right? This, what, what can we say this, about this? It's causing death. Death, oh, somebody dies, right? It's very dangerous. What word are we looking at here? We are looking at deadly. Deadly is a description word, right? Adjective. It describes something. We can look at this and say, oh, be careful. It's deadly. It can cause death. Why are we looking at this word deadly in our topic about electricity? Because you have to be careful. Electricity can be deadly. It can be very dangerous. So although electricity is very useful, we use it for many things, you also have to be careful. Electricity can also be dangerous. It can be deadly. Okay. So, here we are at our exercise one. Let's review the words that we've learned. Let's put those words into sentences, okay? Let's see what we have here. These are our words in the word bank. We have turbine, outlet, send, power plant, wires, and travel. We need to use some of these words in these blanks. Let's look at the sentences. Number one. I'm going to beep my mom a letter, okay? So I'm going to, what do we need here? This tells us right here, by the way, this is a clue. I'm going to, right? That's future tense. I'm going to, we need a verb here, right? Is turbine a verb? No, it's a noun, right? That's the big fan that we saw outside. Outlet, is that a verb? No, that's a noun too. That's the, the device in your home where you plug something in, you get electricity from. Send, is that a verb? Yes, it is a verb. Possible, right? Let's keep looking. Power plant, that's a noun. That's a, a building, right? Wires, that's a noun too. Those are the metal pieces of, uh, pieces of metal where electricity goes through. Travel, travel is a verb. So we have two possibilities. We have send or we have travel. If you're going to, um, you're not going to go to your mother, you're going to take a letter and you're going to make the letter go to your mother, you're going to send your mother a letter, okay? Send, because you're not going to your mom, right? You're staying here, but you're sending a letter to your mother. So the proper word is send. Let's look at number two. Number two, plug your CD player into the. When we have an article, the, that means we need one of these nouns that we talked about here. Which noun goes into the end of the sentence? Plug your CD player into the turbine? No. Outlet? Ah, that's our word right there. Not wires or power plant, but outlet is our word for this one. Because remember, you plug your device into an outlet and then you get electricity from that. Remember the outlet that we talked about, you have many in your house. Okay, let's look at number three. Electricity travels, electricity moves, right? Travels through what? We talked about that several times, right? What 
piece of metal, long piece of metal, surrounded by plastic, does electricity travel through? We've talked about that before. That's wires, isn't it? And notice we're using S. We're using plural because we're talking about wires generally, many wires. We're not talking about one wire. We're talking about all wires. So we need to use S, plural form. Electricity generally travels through wires. There are many wires. So we talk about it in the plural sense wires. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the next three exercises. We have questions four, five, and six. Okay, so the number four, I'm going to, and then again we can see the two, so we know we need a verb. I'm going to. We need a verb for this blank. We already used send. <laughs> Probably going to use travel. Let's look at the sentence. I'm going to travel to Hawaii for Christmas. That fits. That's correct. Remember, when we use travel, going to travel to somewhere. Travel to a place. Where will you travel? Travel to Hawaii. That's a good clue for using travel. And remember, put these words together. Travel to place. Travel to Hawaii. Travel to Jeju-do. Travel to uh, America. Okay? So remember these words are together like this. Okay? Okay, so that's number four. Let's move on to number five. <clears throat> you can't go inside the beep. It's very dangerous. Where would be very dangerous? Um, a turbine? Can you go inside a turbine? You can't really go inside a turbine. It's, it's a big pole with a fan on the top, a huge fan, right? You can't go inside it. But can you go inside a power plant? Remember, power plant is a building. You can go inside a building. But you should not go inside a power plant, right? Because it's very dangerous. We make electricity in a power plant. Electricity can be deadly. Don't go inside the power plant. It's dangerous. Okay. Let's move on to the last exercise, number six. Wind blows a beep to make electricity. Wind blows a what? We talked about that before. Remember the big fan that we saw the pictures of outside? There were many of them together. What was that? That's right. It was a turbine. Turbine. So wind blows a turbine to make electricity. And this is, of course, one of the many ways that we get electricity, right? From wind power, from solar power, right? Uh, 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 solar panel. Or, or other ways. But this is wind blows a turbine to make electricity. It's one of the many ways that we can use to get electricity. Hello kids, welcome back. We're going over the reading section for lesson 14. Remember, lesson 14 is about electricity. So let's read a short essay about electricity. Here we have the first sentence, electricity is made at power plants. Remember we talked about the vocabulary. This is our picture of a power plant. So electricity is made here. But of course electricity is made in many ways. Not just here. That's our next sentence. It can be made in many ways. We can make electricity. There are many ways. Many ways? Many different methods or different ways to do something. So this is one way. What are some other ways? Let's read further. Moving water. Water that is moving, not water that is still, moving water. Moving water can make electricity. Actually, if you think about it, motion, right? Something that is moving, that has energy. We can take that motion and change it, turn it into electricity. Many different ways. Moving water is one way. 
Wind. Wind. If we think about wind, that's also motion, right? Wind is moving. It has energy. We can take that energy, turn it into electricity. So wind can blow turbines. Remember our word turbines, the big machines, devices in the desert that we saw in the picture that move around to make electricity. A third way, heat. Heat. Is heat motion? Well, if you think about it, heat makes things expand. You have motion there. We can use heat can be turned into. Remember our word turn into from vocabulary section. I talked about that. Heat can be turned into electricity. And finally, we have number four way, the fourth way, solar panels. Remember, solar has to do with the sun. Solar panel. It's a device that takes the sun, the light, the, mo uh, the light and the heat. It turns sunlight into electricity too. So in this passage here, in this uh, short paragraph, I guess, there are four ways, four ways that we can make electricity. The first way, moving water. The second way, wind. The motion of the wind can make the turbines go round. That's the second way. The third way is heat. Heat can be turned into electricity also. And the fourth way, solar panels. We're using sunlight to turn that energy into electricity. So in this passage, we can see four ways that we can make electricity. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Now those, the first slide showed us how we can make electricity, but how can we get the electricity for our use? Power plants send electricity to your home. So you don't go to the power plant to get your electricity. The electricity is sent to you, okay? It comes to your house. It travels to your house. So the electricity travels to your house. Power plants are the, uh, they are the, the subject. They send electricity to your house. The electricity travels through wires. That's our word before, right? To move from one place to another, it travels. How does it travel? Through wires. Remember we talked about wires, the long thin pieces of metal. Imagine that. There must be a very long wire between your house and the power plant. And then think about your neighborhood. How many houses are there? Many, many houses. Many wires all going to the power plant, right? So that the power plant can send that electricity to your homes. How do you get it in your home, right? You, you need some device to get that electricity outside of your house, out of your house. So at home, there are outlets in the walls. Of course, this is an outlet. It lets the electricity out of your house and then you can use it for your computer, your smartphone, your music player, whatever you want to use uh, with electricity. So at home, there are outlets in the walls. They let the electricity out. This is where we get electricity. So the electricity that's made by those four different ways, it's made at the power plant. The power plant sends that electricity to your house and this is where we can get the electricity that we need. Okay, let's move on. Your computer needs electricity. So we think about, you know, what things do we need electricity for? One of the words we looked at was computer, right? Of course, your computer needs electricity. If your computer doesn't have electricity, it's, it's dead. <laughs> you can't play a game. You can't watch a movie. You can't do your homework. Uh, maybe homework. Of course, you should do your homework, but I know you want to watch a movie or play a game, but you should also do homework on your computer. But you can't do that without electricity. So your computer needs 
electricity. Just like you need food, your computer needs electricity. How does your computer get the electricity? Your computer has a cord. Remember this word? A cord is a short wire, right? With a plug on either end. One plug into your computer, one plug into the outlet. It's a short wire, it's a cord. At the end, just plug the cord, it. It means cord. Just plug it into the outlet. You plug the, the, the cord into the outlet. And notice that plug, plug is also the word for this thing here, right? Here we can use it, plug it into, or it is a plug. We can use it both ways. Now your computer has power. It has power, great. That's very good. So we can use the plug, put it in the outlet, and it has power, right? <laughs> oh, be careful, right? Because don't touch that, because that could be dangerous. As we can see, electricity can hurt you. Electricity can hurt you, so be careful. Joe Shimheo, right? Joe Shimheo. It can be very dangerous. Uh, of course, you be very careful whenever using uh, electric devices, especially around the outlets in your house. Be careful. What is this here? Wow, this is very dramatic, very impressive picture. This, of course, is electricity. It's a special kind of electricity. We call it lightning. Lightning is electricity that comes from the sky during a storm. Lightning is made of electricity. It can be deadly. Very dangerous. Of course, you do not want to be hit by lightning, but it's very, it's not common, not usual. Don't worry too much, but stay inside during a storm. Also, never swim when there is lightning. This is very dangerous. If the lightning comes down, it hits the water, the water spreads the electricity very quickly. If you're in the water, it can be dangerous for you. So never swim outside during a storm. Get out of the water. Also stay inside if you can during a storm. Don't go outside during a lightning storm. So uh, lightning is made of electricity. It can be deadly. Never swim when there is lightning. Okay. So we've uh, looked at this story about energy. We've seen how it is made. We've seen how we can use it, but we also have to be careful because electricity can be dangerous, okay? That was what the essay was about. Now let's do some exercises for comprehension, for understanding. Let's take a look at number one, exercise number one. This story is about we talked a little bit about what this story is about, right? Are we just talking about wires? Are we talking about outlets? Are we talking about plugs? Are we talking about electricity? When you think about a story, the story has a general topic, uh, a larger topic, not a specific. There are specific things that are mentioned in the story, but those things are not what the whole general story is about. Sure, we talked a little, we may have mentioned wires, we, we talked about outlets, we talked about plugs, but the larger topic of the story is all about electricity, right? We talked about how electricity is made, how we can use it, and the fact that it is dangerous. So all of these things have to do with electricity. Even though we mentioned briefly these items, the story is not about those things. Those were just small details in the story. The whole story is about electricity, and that is our answer, electricity, the topic of the story. Okay, so number two, uh, what can make electricity? Now, this is a detail question. We want to look at a certain detail in the story. And we saw four ways that we can make electricity. So only one of those ways is our answer here. We have four choices. Only one choice will be one of the, thing, one of the four things that we talked about. A, solar wind. Solar wind? 
Solar, of course, is from the sun, right? Is there wind from the sun in outer space? There's no wind. There's no air. There can't be any wind. So that's not correct. Moving water. Hey, we talked about that. That was one of the ways that we can get electricity. In fact, I think that was the first one, right? Because I was talking about motion, something moving. So moving water can make electricity. That's our answer. Hot ice? That's crazy. How can ice be hot, right? <laughs> That's not an answer. They're just trying to trick you. Computers can make electricity? No. Computers use electricity. So what can make electricity? The only answer, of course, that's correct is moving water M can make electricity. That was the first one of the four ways we saw in the story about how we can make electricity. Okay, so our answer is moving water. Let's move on. This is our last question for comprehension. We have power plants. Power plants, beep. Okay, we have a long sentence. We only have the subject. So this question is asking probably, what do power plants do, right? What do they do? We have many choices here, A, B, C, and D. Power plants send electricity to your homes. Power plants travel through wires. Power plants make outlets or power plants can be turned into electricity. Some of these are silly, aren't they? Um, the only correct answer, of course, is power plants send electricity to your homes. I talked about that before. We looked at that, right? We saw that electricity is made at power plants. How to get the electricity from the power plant to your home? Well, the power plant sends the electricity to your home. So A is the correct answer, right? Send electricity to your home. You send something from one place to another. These other ones are kind of silly, but you know, they are other choices. Be careful, right? Power plants, it's a big building. A power plant cannot travel through a wire, right? That's crazy. A small piece of wire, you cannot put a building through a small piece of wire. That's very silly. Power plants make outlets? No. Power plants make electricity. Another type of power, uh, another type of plant or factory makes outlets. But power plants make electricity. They don't make outlets. And the last one, power plants can be turned into electricity? No, that's not one of the four ways that we get electricity. A power plant is a building. You can't change that building into electricity, right? You can change moving water, sunlight, heat into electricity, but you cannot change a power plant into electricity, okay? So the only right choice, the only correct choice is A. Power plants send electricity to your homes, and that's what power plants do. Okay, let's review a little bit here. Let's take a look at this. Um, what is this picture here from the, uh, from the uh, reading? What can we say about this picture? What is this? This, of course, is a power plant. As we saw before, this is a building, right? Uh, these are uh, many buildings actually together. It's a very strange looking building. But if you see this type of building, you know right away, hey, they're making electricity here. This is a power plant, okay? Let's take a look at another picture. What is this? From the reading, what is this that we talked about? We can see the water here. Is the water still? Is it is it not moving? No, this water is moving. We say that this is moving water and this is a place also where they make electricity. As the water goes through here, the motion, the energy of the water is turned into electricity. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's look at this picture. Do you remember this picture? These are the big machines, the big fans out in looks like the desert, right? But they're not fans in your house. What are these doing? Where do we get energy We using these devices? We get energy from the winds, right? The winds will make these turn around and then we get energy from them. So winds. What is another way that we get energy? Another way that we get energy? Look at this, the, look at the steam. It looks like it's very hot here, right? So this is another way that we get electricity. We are getting electricity from heat, okay? So heat is another way that we get electricity. Okay.
Okay, this is our last way that we can get electricity. What is this picture showing us? How do we get electricity from these? What are these? Uh, remember, we can use sunlight. We can get sunlight and turn it into electricity. So what are these things here? Do you remember that word? Solar panel. Solar, of course, has to do with the sun. Panel is this device here. So we have many solar panels. These solar panels take in sunlight and turns it into electricity. So these are the different ways that we can get electricity and that uh, uh, electricity can be sent to a power plant which then sends the electricity to your home. Okay, so let's wrap up here. Uh, we've looked at many different ways that we can make electricity and that we can get electricity. We also looked at ways that we can use electricity and we also saw that electricity can be dangerous. So be careful around electricity. Okay, well that wraps it up. I hope you've learned a lot about electricity in this lesson, in our last lesson in the book. I will see you next time in the uh, first lesson of the next book. Take care, everybody.